my senior project, I have uh, been constructing a storage shed to be used by the uh, high school marching band here. Um, so, growing up, ever since I was about six years old, I've been involved with the, uh, the Boy Scout program, and one of the big things that they always talk about is helping other people, if you're volunteering your time, you know, making an impact on the community, and the culminating event of your scouting career is becoming an Eagle Scout. It's one of the biggest things you can do. Um, it looks great on resumes, and it also just makes you kind of stand out in the crowd. And I needed to complete a uh, service project that involved at least, um, I think it was 50 man hours, and um, showed other people that I have the uh, leadership qualities that are needed to become an Eagle Scout. So the problem, um, the marching band right now currently only has one storage area, and they actually share it with the high school, so it's just chock full with a bunch of random crap. They don't have any space for anything. So they can't really expand their program as of right now. Um, they don't receive funding from the school. The only funding they receive is from the students who pay for the marching band and from uh, different fundraisers that they do, such as Jazz Night and uh, other things like that. Um, and I also have a, uh, sorry, no, go to the next slide. Uh, yeah, where I come in. Um, I have a personal connection to the band. I did one year of marching band back when I was in eighth grade. Um, I was in band up until 10th grade, so I know a lot of the students who participated in the band class. And my sister was in marching band from, I think, 8th grade until her senior year. And she loved it. She would always talk really highly about it. I know a lot of the uh, adult staff that are on them as well, and then I think very highly of them. And um, right now, throughout the entire year, I've been enrolled in the uh, construction trades class down at the uh, tech center. Um, it's actually what I'm going to uh, college for. I'm going to Ferris to uh, study construction management. So it was definitely a, uh, a good experience for me to, uh, to do this. It, uh, gotten, I've gotten a lot of insight from uh, kind of the big world of construction. So the research, um, I spent a lot of time talking with my uh, construction trades teacher and also looking up on the computer, um, various designs, um, I guess various uh, building codes and different regulations that I needed to know before I could start building. Um, there was a lot of uh, prior work before I started building. I actually started planning this, I think, all the way back in um, December or so. I had to start gaining approval from the school. I had to uh, send out a lot of emails, talk to a lot of people. There was a lot of um, insurance issues going around. They were afraid that if we had students out there um, and they got injured, the school would be liable for it. But we, uh, we found a loophole through the Boy Scouts, because um, the Boy Scouts have their own insurance policy, so we didn't really have to worry about that. Um, I also looked into a lot of the, um, the benefits of music education, because I've noticed um, when you hear a lot about uh, public funding and uh, issues that come along with that, music and the arts are generally the two subjects that are dropped first. You never really hear about um, sports or anything that are being dropped and uh, I looked a lot into it and there are actually a lot of things that are um, a lot of qualities and students that have participated in music programs um, that are highly sought after by um, employers such as uh, they're, um, I guess they're very uh, articulate about what they do um, especially with music. Music is very precise so they're usually very precise in what they do. Um, you can definitely depend on them. They, um, they have practices, they're always there. Um, and just different things like that. So what I learned, I learned a lot about um, the uh, various building codes and everything that I had to go through. There's a lot of, a lot of hoops that I had to jump through to be able to, uh, to build it. I know I had to go down to uh, the city hall and talk to um, the uh, city manager, I guess, of uh, construction and uh, see if I needed to get a permit and everything for it. And I had to uh, make sure that I didn't have to go through a, um, a statewide bidding process. Um, I also had to make sure that it was all right, that I didn't uh, mess with the, uh, the union here at the high school, make sure that I wasn't taking a job away from them, um, various things like that. I learned um, a 
lot about leadership as well. What I did is um, when I was finally able to order the lumber, we took into the uh, construction trades class and I led about 10 or 15 guys in building the project. And it was really stressful because um, the band was the, uh, the group that fundraised this uh, project. So I knew that I couldn't mess up because then any money that we had to spend extra either came out of my pocket or I would have to go back to the band and I knew they wouldn't want that. Um, and it was pretty difficult. I, there was a lot of uh, high stress situations that I got into that I had to uh, try to keep a level head on. Um, and yeah, things never go as planned either. I, uh, mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time um, kind of planning out a calendar of what I wanted to do. And at first, I was hoping to have this done, I think, by April. And that's, that's when I wanted it done. And then next, I had been talking to my uh, scoutmaster, and we had it planned to be done by May 11th. And as of right now, we just finished uh, roofing it last night, and there's still probably uh, a week or so more of um, work that needs to be done on it. So it's uh, definitely pushed back a lot. And these are a few pictures of uh, what we've been doing. It's a uh, 10 foot by 16 foot shed um, that's out right now on the uh, practice field. Here's us uh, putting it up in the uh, construction trades classroom. Um, and then that's when we moved it outside and we started shingling it and everything. Um, so yeah, so for the conclusion, um, this shed definitely is a, uh, it's taken a long time to do, and I'm hoping that the, uh, the band really appreciates all the, uh, all the work that I put into it, and I'm hoping that it will kind of be my legacy, I suppose, as a, uh, as a Mount Pleasant Oiler. I hope it's going to stay there for a few years, and when people ask about it, I hope like, my name will be mentioned. Um, so it shows um, that me and then a few of, uh, like Colin here, a few of our uh, construction trades guys, um, really get the recognition um, that I think we deserve. Um, I also learned a lot about uh, volunteering my time. I know whenever I talk to any of the, uh, the band members and uh, band parents and everything, they're always very appreciative of what I've been doing because they've been wanting to do this for a few years. Um, and I was able to save them uh, a couple thousand dollars by doing this for free. And um, I know that they really, really appreciate what I'm doing. What a few questions or comments for Matt. Uh, where did you get all the money to buy the wood and nails and stuff? Um, the marching band has some money they were able to uh, give to me, but they said that they would only give me the money under the uh, stipulation that I would help fundraise for the event by doing uh, pop hand drives and stuff. Uh -huh. So I had 